De hecho, de hecho, de hecho is a great expression. And this phrase means, it has actually some meanings. And it means actually, that's one of the meanings of de hecho, actually. Also, it means in fact, that's more like um, almost a literal translation. And as a matter of fact. So just remember that de hecho means actually, in fact, or as a matter of fact. So that's a common, a very common phrase to say in Spanish. For example, I can say, Tengo de hecho un pastel en la nevera. Tengo de hecho un pastel en la nevera. Oops, this is a big, long, this is a long sentence. And uh, yeah, you can see it all. So that's perfect. And let's, let's see what this means. This means, I actually have a cake in the fridge. <laughs> very simple. It's a very simple example. And uh, let's break this down to see how this works. Yo tengo, yo tengo, we don't need yo, but we, we need tengo. And that means I have, okay? I have, I have. Yo tengo, you can just say tengo, and that means I have. De hecho, we have the expression there, the phrase. And in this situation, it means actually. Tengo de hecho. Un pastel, a, un means a, pastel means cake, okay, en, in, la nevera, la nevera means the fridge, okay, so nevera is a common way to say fridge in Spanish, but also another common thing, a common way to call a fridge in Spanish is el refri, okay? Or el refrigerador. That's a long, long <laughs> word, um, but that means also the fridge. Refrigerador. Refrigerador. Fridge. But you can just call it el refri, the fridge. Uh, or la nevera, the fridge, okay? Tengo, de hecho, un pastel en la nevera. I actually have a cake in the fridge. Excellent. So that's uh, that's quite good that de hecho means actually. It's very similar to actually. Okay. Oops, what am I doing? I just wanted to erase this. Now let's look and let's look at another example using de hecho. Pensé que estaba equivocado, pero de hecho tenía razón. Pensé que estaba equivocado, pero de hecho tenía razón. This means I thought I was wrong when in fact I was right. So <laughs> another good example, perfect example. Yo pensé, yo pensé. We don't need yo, we just need the verb. Pensé, I thought. Pensé, just remember that. Uh, pensé comes from the verb pensar, which means to think. And pensé is, con obviously that's uh, past tense, that's past tense. So yo pensé, pensé, I thought. Que? like saying I thought that but uh, that's when you want to add more to the sentence pensé que okay I thought that 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 que estaba yo estaba I was wrong I was wrong right pensé que estaba not wrong sorry I was <laughs> not wrong I <laughs> sorry about that Equivocado means wrong, okay? Pensé que estaba equivocado. I thought I was wrong. Pero, pero, 
it's like saying but okay but in this situation is similar to saying when okay de hecho we have the phrase right there in fact yo tenía razón tener razón that's a common phrase that means to be right tenía comes from the verb tener which means to have so right here we don't we cannot literally translate the phrase but when you say tener razón yo tengo razón tú tienes razón él tiene razón is similar to saying I was right, you were right, uh, or sorry, when you say tengo razón, that's present tense, I am right, yo tengo razón. But in this situation, we are using present tense, past tense, so that's why tenía razón, yo tenía razón, means I was right. So just remember that when you want to say um, I'm right, just use the... <laughs> the verb tener and not ser o estar okay which is um, it means to be in spanish so you need to use the verb to have tener tener razón to have to have <laughs> to have the right i don't know it, it doesn't translate but uh, you know what i'm saying you need to use the verb tener when talking about you know if you're right if he's right or wrong okay if you're saying if you want to say you're wrong you can say estar equivocado right you can use this this phrase estar equivocado or when you can say no tienes razón you're not right okay so just keep that in mind that's that's very important to remember excellent now let's look at the last example and it's very interesting we have the phrase here de hecho we have de hecho okay um you can use de hecho at the beginning of sentences de hecho tengo un pastel en la nevera de hecho pensé que estaba equi equivocado pero tenía razón so you can say this at the beginning of the sentence or you can place it in the middle pretty much in the middle of the sentence tengo de hecho un pastel en la nevera or pensé que estaba equivocado pero de hecho, if you want to say de hecho in the middle when comparing things, then you can um, say pero, pero de hecho, okay? When in fact, similar to saying that. Okay, lastly, we have de hecho, ayer tomé una taza de té con ella. Excellent. So, de hecho, ayer tomé una taza de té con ella. I might have to move this a little up. Okay, this means I had a cup of tea with her yesterday as a matter of fact. You can also use de hecho if you want to say as a matter of fact. Um, you can place it at the beginning or at the end. So, you can say de hecho... Ayer tomé una taza de té con ella. Or, ayer tomé una taza de té con ella, de hecho. Okay? But it's more common to place it at the beginning in this situation. You know? Just place it at the beginning of the sentence. De hecho, as a matter of fact, ayer, yesterday... It's very common to do that, uh, to have hoy, ayer, today, yesterday, mañana, tomorrow, at the beginning of sentences or at the beginning of what you're trying to say in Spanish. Or you can place it at the end. It's very flexible as well. Ayer, yesterday, tomé, yo tomé, um, that this comes from the verb Tomar, which means to drink or to take. In this situation, we're talking about a cup of tea. So, 
I think it's it could it could be you know like taking the tea, the the cup, but also it can mean you know you drank some tea. So tomé una taza. I had a cup. It's similar to saying I had a cup. Taza means cup. Okay. De té, taza de té means cup of tea. Té means tea. Con, with, ella. Oops, ella. Her, okay? With her, con ella. De hecho, ayer tomé una taza de té con ella. I had a cup of tea with her yesterday. As a matter of fact. <laughs> so, now we know that de hecho means actually, in fact, and as a matter of fact. So it's a very, very versatile uh, phrase. So yeah, you need to add this one to your vocabulary as well. 